Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to generate QR codes using Inkscape. I'll be using Inkscape version 1.1.1, which is the latest version of Inkscape at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of video tutorials on here as well as free software help articles, so definitely check that out. Plus, you can get more by becoming a DMD Premium member, including an extended or advanced version of this tutorial. And I'll include a link to this, as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So QR codes are gonna be codes you can scan with your phone's camera that are gonna take you to something like a link to a website or maybe a digital menu. And a lot of owners have been using this, especially lately with the pandemic going on, in order to decrease the amount of touch points their customers have. All that said, let's open up Inkscape to get started started here. So I'm going to type Inkscape in my search bar and click on Inkscape. So here we have the welcome screen, which is available in Inkscape 1.1 or newer. I already have a template I created here, but what I did originally was I just went to screen and clicked on the desktop 1080p option there. So let's come back to existing files and I'm just going to double click on this file. So here's my composition and you can see the QR code right here. So I'm just gonna click on this QR code and hit the backspace key to get rid of that. To generate your own QR code, simply go to extensions, render, barcode, and then QR code. And so that's gonna give you this QR code dialog. Again, I'll have an extended or more advanced version of this tutorial on DMD Premium where I walk you through all the settings here. But for beginners, all you need to know is that the text field here is gonna be where you input the URL, where you want people to be taken to when they scan the code with their camera, their smartphone camera. So let me just double click on here to select everything. For example, if I just wanted to put the homepage of my website, I could type that here. We'll keep the size set to auto. And if I come over here, I can generate a live preview so I could see what the code looks like before I apply it. And the QR code will change depending on the URL itself. There are various factors that go into how the QR code looks, but I'm just gonna come over here and click apply, and then I can click close. So you'll see that has generated a QR code. Let me hold control and use my mouse wheel to zoom out so we can get a full view of this. So I'm just gonna click and drag this code up. So by default, your code is gonna have a background, so just a white background, and then the black QR code in the middle. Usually what you can do to separate the two elements is right click and go to ungroup. And now you'll see there are two separate elements here. So we can click off of here. And let's say for example, I wanted to change the background color of this. So I can click on the background and then just come over to any swatch and change the background color or I can hit the backspace key to delete the background entirely. So now we just have this floating QR code and let me click on this code. It does have transform handles, so I can transform it to fit inside this box here. So I'm just gonna click and drag the handle and just hold control while you do that to maintain the aspect ratio and I'll release. So hold control, zoom in. If I wanted to align this to the rectangle below, I can shift click on that rectangle and now I have both these items selected. And now what I can do is come up top here and click on the align icon. So that should open up align and distribute. I'm gonna choose relative to last selected since the rectangle was the last item I selected here. And I'm just going to vertically and horizontally align the QR code inside there. And we'll just click off of that to deselect it, and I'll close out Align and Distribute. I can also close out these other tabs here. I don't need those right now. But now if I wanted to lower the QR code below the arrow, I can click on the QR code and just click the down arrow here. And another cool thing we can do is we could change the color of the QR code. So right now it's black by default, but I can come over here to my swatches and just click on any color, and you'll see that'll update this here. And I can also add a gradient to this. So if I click on the gradient tool and then click and drag this tool, there we get a cool gradient. And let me just change the color of this. So I'm gonna grab the eyedropper tool. We have this bottom node selected here right now. 
So what I'll do is click on this blue color and then come over here. Let's click on the top node in the top left corner and we'll go with just the lighter blue there. And now our QR code has a gradient. All right, so now I have my phone here. I'm gonna test out the QR code. I've opened up the camera on my phone and I'm just gonna hold the camera up. I don't have to do anything. Just hold the camera up to the QR code itself. You'll see a little link pop up here to my website. And when I click on that link, now you're taken to my website. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.